And hello everyone, welcome back to another HTML tutorial. So in this tutorial we'll be covering HTML symbols. Because sometimes you just need to have a symbol in your code, but it's a little bit difficult getting it in there. For example, let's say we want to have the greater than sign symbol in our code to maybe get, tell someone how to code in HTML. For example, we say code, the body tag looks like this. And now here we can say body and there we go. Now you'll notice we can't see anything. And that's a problem. So that is where special characters comes in or HTML symbols. By using an ampersand, this means escape. We can then use, for example, GT to say greater than or LT to say less than. So now, if we were to save, you'll see we have a list and symbol here. Same here, if we were to say and LT, semicolon, let's take note, it's and, then it's the text, and then it's a semicolon, that's a code. Then you'll notice we finally have two tags without a problem. So that is where symbols comes in very useful. So I'm going to teach you some of the more basic symbols and common symbols you might use. Okay, so we can start by just declaring a p tag and we can do a few here. Now there are three types of symbols. First is the easy one I love using, where you just say and, a word, so euro for example, uh, euro is spelled like that, and then semicolon. This one is pretty simple, it gives you an euro and you can see it's an euro. The next one is one I that's a bit more common than the last one, but also a bit more difficult to read, so co-workers might be like, what the heck is that? By saying and hashtag 8364 semicolon, this will also give you an error symbol, but it uses, I believe, ASCII values to get that. So yeah, you can use this. It would be the ASCII value, if I'm not mistaken, it would be. And then the last one is probably the most uncommon one you'll see. And it is an and symbol, hashtag x20ac. This would be hexadecimal. I can't read hexadecimal. I can barely read ASCII. So to me, it always makes sense to rather use the text. And that's why I always encourage other people to use text instead of ASCII or hexadecimal. Because these two are just confusing and you have to go search up what it is if you can't go and see what it is. So yeah, those are the three methods to get it. And I'm going to show you a bunch of ways how you can get these in your code. A bunch of symbols that you might want to use. However, I'm only going to show you the text versions because I want to encourage you to only use the text version if possible. So if you want to use the other, you'll have to search up what you have to use to use those others. But I'm going to use the text. So there's a bunch of characters you might be interested in. For example, the for all, well, for all. That's like this un upside down A. Another one you might be interested in is exist you see right there it's like a backwards e i have no idea what that means then you have the nabla which is like an upside down delta i have no idea what that means but it looks very interesting there's a bunch of these i'm not going to cover all of them because there's a full box of them but this is all math things and you know i don't know a lot of math so to me it's a little bit confusing if you know things like alpha, beta, gamma, delta, epsilon, and zeta, or if I'm pronouncing that last one right, then these will be kind of useful. For example, gamma. That will give you gamma. Delta. That will give you delta. Now, here is some of the more interesting ones. For example, copy. If you want to copyright something, then there's like a copy, for example, uh, 20, 2002, for example, copy at 2002. That's pretty interesting, right? And what about if something is registered? That we can, that can be rich. And as you can see, it's like a little R in a circle. And what if you want to trademark something? For example, uh, Steve's t 
teacher and we can just say TM. Uh, is it TM? No, it's trade. There we go. Steve's teacher trademarked. And in some of the things I like to use most on my websites is like little arrows showing up down left, right? I love using that in tutorials and websites. I love it. So what we can do is we can use LR and uh, yeah, let's just remove these and we can throw all of them in here at once. So I'm just going to copy this four times and I'm just going to space them out by spaces so you can notice the difference. Next one would be instead of LR, it would be UR. So it would be left, up, so left arrow, up arrow, down arrow, and right arrow. As you can see there, left, up, down, right. And then let's say you want to add like a little heart. You want to make a website for your loved one and you want to like put a little heart on the website. You can just do heart. And there you go, little heart. And yeah, that's the basics of some of the most commonly used characters you'll see or use on your website. And yeah, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all again in the next HTML tutorial.